What's up guys, Silas here again. And it snowed last night, but it didn't quite freeze. It got down to 32 degrees. So I decided to go out here and go mushroom hunting in the snow. Never done that before. So it's been quite the adventure. So far, I found all those down here in the snow, right here in this spot here. I should have recorded before I plucked them, but I was so excited that I just started grabbing them. They're nice big ones too. It's crazy, I've never picked morels in the snow before. So this is the first for me. I'm pretty excited. And what's really awesome is that it did not freeze last night. And then we got all this moisture. And so I think next week is gonna be really, really good. Here we go, here's one. If I can get through all these trees. I am soaking wet and cold. It's got snow right on top of it. Craziness. So let's see how many we can find today. I've been finding quite a few already, all covered in snow like this. And I'm sure there's a bunch more still under the snow. So this snow will be gone by tomorrow or the next day. So I'm for sure gonna have to come out here probably in a couple days and look again, see what else I can find. There we go. There's a whole bunch of them right here. There's one, two, three, four, five. That's a little one there. There might be some more back in here. Man, I wish all this snow was gone. I bet there's a ton. I'm gonna have to come back in a couple days. They are growing good back here. Oh, yep, there's one over there. I found a bunch of big ones in this area last year. A little bit before this, but it's kind of a late season. There's a good one there. That, that's the size, that's probably bigger than this camera. It's kind of hard to see without any points of reference, but that's at least the size of this camera, if not bigger. There's that one. Let's see here, best way to get through here. I'm just gonna leave my bag down here. I haven't been having very good luck. I mean, I have found those few a little bit ago. I found a few others since then, small ones, but I haven't found the big ones. But I could see this one from way over there. There's another one there the size of this camera. There's another one down there peeking his head up out of the snow. So I'm gonna have to kind of go through this area here and see if I can find any more. Check out this bad boy. Oh my word. That is a monster. That is bigger than my hand. Let's see if I can hand in there without getting soaking wet. Look at that. That thing is a monster. Whew. Yep, I'm glad I came out here today in the snow. This is awesome. Let's see if we can find some more. There's one. There's one. There's two. How crazy is it that my best day of the year is in the snow? <laughs> best day of the year so far. Season's not over by a long shot with this snow we just got. Here's one. That's a pretty good size one there. And I like to pinch them off or cut them off at ground level like that. That way you don't get a big ball of dirt on the bottom of them. But that's a pretty good one there. Last year in this area, I was finding 40 and 50 of them in clusters here and there. I mean, we've just found tons of them. This year, it's just kind of one here, one there. I just found one down here by my foot. And then there's two more right there. Those are pretty good looking ones there. They have nice color to them and they have good shape. I like it when they look like that. They're not very big. Well, they're, they're decent size. That's about normal, but they just look good. And then there's one more I saw back here. I don't really see any more in this area. There's kind of few and far between this year, but that's okay. We're still doing pretty good with them. The ones I like are the ones you can see from 20 feet away because they stick out like a sore thumb and they're big. Let's see if I can get over here to it. I saw this bad boy from clear over there. This ain't as big as that one I found, but still it's pretty good sized. That's about the size of the palm of my hand. Don't see any more around it though. Lonely mushrooms this year. Another snow shroom. I 
sometimes you find them by complete accident. I was just walking through the trees and I had a message on my phone so I stopped to look at it and when I looked down to look at my phone I saw these two hiding right here underneath me. I would have walked right past them but I'm kind of in a hurry to get back because I have some work to get done. Now there's another one. When I'm not in a hurry a lot of times what I do is I'll just zigzag back and forth through the trees and even uh, go over the same path twice just in an opposite direction. That way I can make sure I find them and do a thorough job of it. Oh, there's one back here. Little bitty one. But today, like I say, oh, there's one over there. Like I say today, I'm kind of in a hurry to get back. I've only been out here for just a little bit, and I do have some work to get done today. So I'm kind of walking fast, and I'm not covering most of this area. I'll come back in a couple days and cover it much better. Man, my ear is finally turning around. I'm checking out a new area here. There's one there. There's a good one there. There's one over there. Looks like that might be one over there. Yeah, this area's got a few in it. Shaping up to be a pretty good day. <laughs> here we go. There's one there. A little baby over there. There's a pretty good one there. This here, I know I saw another one over here. Oh, there it is back there. You gotta be careful where you walk. There's so many of them in this area. There's one right there next to my foot. I like that with the moss right next to it. There's one there with more moss. Oh yeah, this is a good spot right here. Decided to check another spot just on a whim. So far it's paying off. I found one over there. There's one there. There's some back there. Just want to kind of scour this area, see how many more I can find. You got to be very thorough sometimes. There's some back in there in those, that brush back there. This little guy, it's actually not that little, it's a couple inches tall, is hiding under all these leaves. I wouldn't be able to find that 30 minutes ago with all the snow. Remember what I said about retracing your steps? I just retraced my steps and found four more. Because I couldn't see them coming from the other direction. I should have been recording this whole time. I've been finding one after another thinking, oh, that'll be the last one. That'll be the last one. I keep finding more and more. They're pretty good size too. That's what I call a good mushroom right there. That's perfect size for eating. It's not too big. The real big ones, like that one I found earlier, they soak up a lot of butter. So you have to be careful how much butter you put in them when you fry them. But like there, like that there, that is perfect. Perfect. I've got my eyes in tune now. That sounds funny to say, but early in the season, it's hard to train your eyes to look for these things. But I spotted these little guys, once again they're not that little, hiding behind these leaves from 40 feet away. Oh man, it is on like Donkey Kong. I know it's, we probably can't see them on the camera, but they are scattered all through here in this area I just found. Alright, video's not over. Here's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. Some nice, good, big yellow ones right in here. Let's see what else we can find. Man, I am definitely glad I made the trek way back here where I'm at. It was a long walk. But man, there's just a bunch of these nice, big yellows. You can tell they started to dry out and then that rain saved them. Then got a little bit crispy on top. Still, that's a good mushroom. I'm getting quite a few of them too. All down through here. So I found an area with a whole bunch more mushrooms, but it was really tight. So I just left my backpack and my mushrooms here. And I thought there were just a couple big ones, but there was a whole hat full. I couldn't carry them all, so I had to take my hat off and use it. But that's okay. This has been a pretty good area. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I still have all these I gotta pick, but uh, I'm gonna put the camera up and just enjoy mushroom hunting for a little while. Having the camera out is a little bit more work. And so while I'm finding a bunch of them, put the camera away and just enjoy it for a little while. 